I'm a hater. They won't like my opinion. They say it's overrated. Now choose one through ten, or it's A to Z. You good on any list, long as it comes for me. This is a disclaimer and not a guarantee. My highly rated opinion make perfect sense to me. It's the perfect sense, the perfect sense. My highly rated opinion make perfect sense to me. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome to Perfect Sense. I'm your host, Antoine, brought to you only by Frisbee TV, sponsored by Billion Brothers. I wanna thank everybody that has been here before, know who I am and know what I do. I wanna thank everybody that's coming for the first time. I want you to like and subscribe and share if you can. All the content that I bring you here is gonna be off of not just Twan's top 10, but anything that I think you could use to upgrade yourself or better yourself in life. So, we're gonna go into a segment off of Twan's top 10, and this is going to be the jewelry segment. All right, we all know that jewelry is an accessory that anybody can use, it can be men, women, or even children. And it's subjective to what you like, whether you like gold, whether you like uh, silver, whether you like titanium, whether you like platinum. You know, it also goes about what you can afford, or sometimes jewelry can be an heirloom. But let me tell you how I think jewelry is an accessory and what things that I'm into. This segment is sponsored by Billion Brothers. Make sure if you want them handcrafted leather bags that you go and you get yours. Billionbrothers.com. Check them out. So we're gonna go into rings. I don't really do much with rings, but I have about four or five rings that I rotate between. Uh, of course, I gotta keep this one. All right, and this one particularly, um, I like because this one is white gold. This is my wedding ring. This is the most important piece of jewelry that I have. This is the one that I cannot leave home without. So I also wear a pinky ring. I have a pinky ring, a nugget ring, and that ring is gold, and I don't always wear gold. Gold is very subjective, so I wear it when it complements something that I have, or depending on where I'm going, whether I'm going to that event, or whether I'm just going out and having a good time with the boys, whether I'm going to the pool hall, whether I'm going to just have a drink, or sit down with some family, it depends on what I wear. So we're gonna move from that, and we're also gonna include something that I included on the last videos from Twan's Top 10, would have been the watch segment. Watches are jewelry, and the reason uh, that some of these things are talked about separately is because they're noteworthy. They, they can stand on their own. But watches are jewelry. Uh, when you walk into a jewelry store and you see that case and you wanna look in there and you wanna see that watch, sometimes you have a business watch, um, you have a watch that's just practical, you can have a watch that says a lot about you, whether it's the way that it ticks, whether it's a skeleton series watch, whether it's a square face, a round face, whether it has a bezel, a diamond, or for some of those, uh, entertainers out there, VVS's or whatever you guys want to put into your watch, it's up to you and how much you want to spend. You don't always have to go expensive, you can be budget friendly and still get watches that look really, really, really good. All right, so this watch that I have on is just a practical watch. You see it just goes, it has a, a rubber uh, material to it and it's very, very functional. It has like four little screws, screws um, this watch right here is a diver's watch, so that means that you can go underwater with this watch. Um, not gonna tell you the brand because I don't really sponsor the brand. I would have brought the brand doesn't sponsor me, um, but I do frequent the, these watches. Um, and, and I'm also gonna go ahead and this brand I will talk about because I love it so, so much. Um, this I talked about in the watch series. This brand watch right here is an Eco Drive Citizen. And this to me can go from, can be pleasure, work, anything that you want. Um, and the band, make sure it's the material that you like, make sure you like the bezel that's around it or you like the face. The face of these watches are crystal. Um, I just like the gold accents. I like the silver and gold together. It helps me to uh, combo my jewelry. So my ring is actually white gold. If I put this watch on, it brings together the outfit, the ring, and this necklace. And this necklace right here, I like this necklace right here. This is the God symbol in Hebrew. So this is a necklace that I picked out and I wore. I saw it in a case and I absolutely love it. I did my research on it. And um, a lot of people associate it with uh, certain religious beliefs. And I'm just gonna say, um, I'm, I'm God-fearing. So I'm a God-fearing person. I'm not going to 
talk about religion on this channel, but what I am going to say is that God is very real. Um, and I want, also want to talk to you guys about, you know, how necklaces make you feel, how necklaces can accentuate an outfit. Sometimes when it's a layover, I mean, you can have on that turtleneck and depending on the color, you can have a nice herringbone, a nice rope necklace, or, you know, as far as the ladies are concerned, because ladies, we all know that you guys wear jewelry. Ladies like their jewelry. Ladies want, maybe you want that dainty cross necklace. Maybe you want that gold accent. Maybe you want that teardrop necklace. And some of them, they get birthstones and things like that. So jewelry is very, very subjective, but make sure it's something that benefits you. Do not go out of your way. Ooh, first mistake. Do not go out of your way to spend astronomical amounts of money on something that you're gonna wear one or two times in a certain fashion or maybe at an event, things like that. Make sure that it makes sense for you. Hence the name of the show, Perfect Sense. If you can afford it, do it. If you can get it on the budget, do it. But make sure you look at it because you don't want to get home and you want to, you know, you don't want to hate the look. You want it to complete an outfit. You want it to accent an outfit. And it does not make you, you make it. So wear the jewelry, don't let it wear you. But I have a close friend of mine, uh, a real close friend of mine, and he has another piece of jewelry that he would love for me to talk about. And I think it's unique. Now, I haven't had any experience with this jewelry, but my friend wears this jewelry. Every time I see him, he has it on. And it has a meaning. Everything about this next piece is going to be below this video. So I wanna talk about this bracelet here for a second. And he gave me a brief overview and he let me see what the website is. Um, these are African beads, or say um, beads from Ghana. And uh, the beads on this bracelet, he informed me, they, they used to be currency. So they used to use these beads back in Africa, um, I guess to exchange for food and uh, goods and services. So there's a really, really, I'm gonna say, great meaning behind this, kind of sentimental. Um, the value of whatever that is has to probably do with the history. So if you have history with Africa or you, you have history with Ghana, this will probably be a nice, unique piece for you. Um, as far as I can tell, it's very, very durable. Um, it looks really, really good and aesthetically pleasing. And I'm pretty sure they have them in multiple colors, but you will have to do a little more research on your own. Um, like I said, he's a great friend of mine and he wears this all the time. Um, what I can say that I like about the piece, I like not just the stones, but I like the wood accents. Um, this, you can't put a value on something like this. This is very, very personal. Adds personal touches. I mean, anybody can go and get their Pandoras and, and, and get bracelets like that and get pieces. But when you got something like this that's handcrafted and handmade, I, I think it adds a lot of sentiment and value. And uh, to me, that is an upgrade and it is also a black owned business. So don't forget to support. But I also wanna say that in anything you do, make sure God is behind it. And uh, I want you to stay blessed, be less stressed, and let God do the rest. I'm out. sound of this beat is so profound to me it's so soulfully so so undoubtedly he gave me the shoulders to put the world on him yeah my kids on this rock man so i can hold him god gave me these eyes so i can see the vision equip me with all the right tools so i can win it keep fasting and praying now that's the key put your feet in the sand and take a walk with me highly blessed and highly favored and some are hated they won't like my opinion they say it's overrated and choose one to ten or it's A to Z, you good on any list, long as it comes for me. This is a disclaimer and not a guarantee. My highly rated opinion make perfect sense to me. It's the perfect sense, the perfect sense. My highly rated opinion make perfect sense to me.